what's up sims welcome back to my channel this is marie sims again with another video um today i decided to uh do a little quick video on how to download g shade uh if you're on windows uh because i had to i figured i'd do a video on it because i had to reinstall it so i should so i said why not let me just show people how to do it it's really simple if you don't have it on your windows okay so uh all you have to do is go to the G-Shade website. You can search on um, Google or something, G-Shade uh, Sims 4, and the site will come up for you, and you just click the first option. Um, I'll link everything down below. So anyways, I'm on the G-Shade. I don't know why I can say the word. I'm on the website, so now I'm going to go to download at the top. Okay, obviously I'm on Windows, so I'm going to select Windows Installer. All right, and then it's going to download up here at the top and we're going to click it okay and then this is going to come up you're going to click run you can bypass that and just click run oh i'm sorry i gotta do that because um, i have the protection on here i have to accept it um it's showing that g shade is a risk because it's a um like a high type of program that you put on your computer so again if your computer can't handle g-shade um then i would advise not getting it i would read up on it and see if your um, um computer meets the requirements for it so yeah i i'm gonna accept the risk because my computer is uh perfectly fine it's a gaming computer so it, sh it handles it i've used it before anyways so now that i accepted it now i can download Okay. Oh, wait, I already downloaded it. <laughs> okay, I've just been downloaded it. Set the rest, and I'm going to click it. Now, this is going to come up. I'm going to click More Info, and you're going to click Run Anyway. All right, do you want to make changes to the computer? Yes. Okay, and then the program is going to come up. I'm going to click OK for English. Um, You can read this if you want. Like I agree. All right, now you're gonna come to this screen. Uh, right here, it's gonna say target game or program .exe file. You're gonna click browse, and what you're gonna do is locate your uh, Sims 4 folder. Um, for most of you guys, it's gonna be uh, in program files 86, and then you're gonna um, locate uh, the Sims 4, and then you wanna go to game, and then you're gonna go to bin. Uh, but for me, mine's is not on my main um, drive. Mine's is on my external hard drive. That's where I have my game at. So I'm going to go to my external hard drive. I'm going to locate my Sims 4 folder, which is right here. I want to click my Sims 4 folder. You're going to click Game. Then. And then you're going to see all these files. You're going to click TS4 uh, underscore X64. For this and you will see the same stuff if you go through it um, the other way on your main drive you just have to uh, find program files 86 um, if you have your stuff on your main drive so I'm going to click this I'm going to click open it's going to come up right here um, as my D drive uh, which is my external hard drive and CS4.64 got that I'm going to click next Okay, so right here, you're going to um, have the option to do the 64-bit, 32-bit. It's already on a 64-bit, so you don't need to change that. Right now, it's where it's supposed to be. You have to make sure that it's on Direct X 11 because that is what we have now with the last few updates. Um, make sure it's not on Direct 9. It has to be on Direct 11 to match the updates for it to work. Okay, so Direct 11, and then you're going to click install and then it's going to install so let's let that install okay that installed um everything is complete um this is just asking where you want to save your screen uh shots uh the g-shade screenshots um i don't really worry about that much or whatever so i just leave it where it's at on my c drive and i just click finish um yeah that's not that's not really a big deal so anyways, now that G-Shade is installed, I'm going to go find where it downloaded at. Here it is right here. Okay, 
throw that in there. All right. Here it is right here. So now I'm going to open it. Yes, again. Okay. Um, it is now installed. I have the latest version. Um, and in order for you to add your presets, G-Shape presets, um, you're going to open the panel, which I just did, the control panel. And you're going to go to install. You're going to see the uh, file right here from my game bin. And then you're going to click, you're going to click the folder right here. This is like a quick way to do it. Or you could go back and just um, do your Sims 4 game bin and then find this yourself. All right. So when you open this, you're going to see G-Shade uh, add-ons, G-Shade presets. You're going to click G-Shade uh, presets. Click into that. You're going to see the off. Don't touch that. Click into custom. And then keep this. Uh, again, don't touch the off button. Keep that there. All right. And then you're going to have your uh, picture um, presets in here. I have a folder for my presets that I saved before I reinstalled it. So what I'm going to do is just add my presets back. So I'm going to... I sometimes... <clears throat> I sometimes like switch between all these presets, uh, but my favorite one is the mica presets I use a lot in my um, screenshots. So yeah, I just added all my, um, my um, presets back, and now it should be in the game. So I uh, got my game loaded up, and we're going to see if the G-Shade installed correctly. In order to do that, you have to hit shift, make sure you're on your screen, hit shift, backspace, and this is how you know you installed it correctly because it pops up like this is the menu. And so if you installed it for the first time, it's going to come up like this. You're going to do either continue, you're going to do continue. Okay, and it's going to take you to this screen. Right now it's off, um, but all of my presets should be on here. So I'm going to go to the all thing, I'm going to click custom, and these are all my presets that I've set. So I'm going to set it to my favorite preset, which is the mica. I'm going to load, and now my G-Shade is back on. I'm going to click continue, and this is all the settings for the mica. I just keep everything the same. And so that's really it. And then you hit shift backspace to close out the menu, and that's really it. Um... Thank you guys for watching.